Number 10 then from the 2015 New Hire Paper 1. A little three mark question. This is your triangles, angles question. Put it in it as only three marks you're getting here. Given the value of the tan of 2x, what's the cosine for just one mark? So I'll just be like stating it. And then from there, what's the value of cos of just x itself? We're just saying that x only goes up to 45 degrees here. Well, the first bit, there's only one mark for it. It just says the mark's just for stating the answer. You'll get that just by reconstructing the 2x triangle. The triangle that had a tangent of 3 quarters, opposite over adjacent, means that the hypotenuse must be 5. So the cosine is going to be the adjacent one to the angle is 4 fifths. So you can just say state. So you can just say it straight away. The cosine is 4 fifths. And if you do that, you get the first mark. Now the second part was, what's the value of just cos x? So you think, well, what's the connection between cos 2x and cos x? Well, you've got that. Cos 2x equals 2 cos squared x minus 1. And knowing to use that appears to be the first mark. I'm not sure whether it needs to be equated to the 4 fifths before you get the first mark. So 2 cos squared x minus 1 equals 4 fifths is definitely the first mark in part B. And then the second mark is just for evaluating it. So let's get rid of the 1, get rid of the 2, get rid of the squared. So 2 cos squared x will equal that plus 1, which will be 9 upon 5. So cos squared x will be divided by 2, so that'll be 9 upon 10. Now the final part would just be take the square root. The square root of that is 3, the square root of the denominator is root 10. Now a square root can be positive or negative, but for an angle in the first quadrant, which is meant to be, everything's positive, so it's just equal to that because x is less than pi up and 4. Though it does say in the marking scheme, if you put plus or minus, you don't get marked off for the negative part. And you should really. And that's the second mark for part B, the third mark altogether. And just looking at the marking scheme again here, yes, you did have to equate it. It wasn't just a case of stating this, you had to equate it to your answer from part A to get mark number two.